So it, so it's been about two years since the last time I actually uploaded any any good content, I guess. And um, I know that a few months ago I said that I was going to be uploading again soon. Life happened and it took longer than I thought it was going to to get ready, but I'm here now. So you can expect at least two or three videos a week moving forward. Now I'm sure that some of you are familiar with the series of videos that I did on the DVDs of Dragon Ball. Um, now this is going to be the first video in a new series, um, but instead of talking about the DVDs from Dragon Ball, we're going to be talking about the gods and the DVDs. Um, the pantheon of deities from uh, Mortal Kombat. Now this is going to be probably the shortest video in the series since I'm just going to be briefly uh, going over each level on the hierarchy uh, before giving them each their own videos as well as individual videos for any of the uh, notable deities that are on, that are on the list. Um, people like Raiden and Chinook. Um, I, I could probably cover everything in just this one video but at one point in the story they started screwing with time and then there's also some inconsistencies in some of the game stories that need to be explained. So it's a hierarchy, right? So there's going to be levels, there's different tiers of gods. Um, and at the very bottom, we have the weakest deities in the series, although they're really the most well-known. Normally just referred to as the gods or the demigods. They're typically associated with some element, or like fire, or wind, or lightning, or thunder, or whatever. Um, and they act as like the protectors and the guides for each of the different um, realms that are in within the multiverse. Now, for example, Raiden, the god of thunder, is the uh, protector of Earth Realm. Now, there are gods for each of the elements, but most of them are not really named, so they're just referred to as the god of whichever element they just happen to be in control of. And their power is limited, though. They can only hold power within their own home realm, and uh, they lose their power if they turn into another. Now, at the next level, we have the Elder Gods, and for the longest time, it was assumed that these people were the the most powerful beings in existence um, within the entire Mortal Kombat verse. Um, but it was eventually revealed that this was definitely not the case. Although their power is still immense. They're nigh omnipotent and um, they created the universe as it is today. So they they created the realms, I guess. Um, and I know that just saying that might give the impression that they are the most powerful beings in Mortal Kombat, but it's important to remember that in order for them to be able to create the universe as we know it and to create the realms, they had to exist somewhere else at some other time before the realms of the universe existed. And wherever they were, whenever they were, they were not alone. Um, these are the people that created the Mortal Kombat tournament as well. Because um, it's their job to, to watch over and maintain balance between all of the different realms that are in existence, I guess. Above the Elder Gods exist a race of beings who are <laughs> that are far more powerful than the Elder Gods. Far more powerful. Um, now the Elder Gods, their powers are typically related to physical concepts like life and death and the elements. And while this has really never been fully confirmed, it would seem that the Titans actually have power over the laws of reality. So they're, they're Mortal Kombat reality warpers. They're the Franklin Richards of Mortal Kombat, I guess you could say. Now, in, in Mortal Kombat 11, though, some of the characters' endings showed some of the Titans. But there's only one that we actually really know the name of or really, really know anything about. I mean, that's Chronica, the Keeper of Time. And um, she will be getting her own video, so there isn't much more to say right now. And at the very top, um, the most powerful being that's ever existed in the Mortal Kombat verse is simply known as the One Being. Now, he has always existed. He is everything, and everything is a part of him. There's really not too much to say about this guy right now because he's going to be discussed heavily in the upcoming video that we're going to be doing with the Elder Gods because he plays a big role in in their whole story and why the realms were created and all that. But uh, he is the reason the realms exist, and he's the reason the realms cannot be merged again. So that was just a super basic overview of the different types of deities present uh, in the Mortal Kombat uh, universe. There's the gods, the Elder Gods, the Titans, and the One Being. Now, like I said, though, there's going to be more in-depth videos coming out explaining things in more detail. Um, videos about, like, just Raiden or the, just the Elder Gods themselves or the history of, of why things are the way they are. Um, just the basic overview of the tournament and its rules. Um, just a whole bunch of all the information that you're ever going to want to know about Mortal Kombat will be coming out in video form um, at some point over the next few weeks. So just pay attention when we drop things. Um, just to make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss it. You click on the bell thing if you want to as well, just to make sure you get that notification. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.